Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about a practice that you might want to start to consider to do, especially with all the news talking about the negative customer service from Comcast and other internet service providers. I'm talking about recording your phone calls to customer service at any company. You know how when you call customer service somewhere and it will pre-roll a automatic voice that says something like, calls recorded for quality or calls recorded for training purposes. That actually gives you the go ahead to record the phone calls yourself. That's because a lot of places, including the United States, have either one or two party consent call recording laws. That means that depending on your state, you either need consent from one party, which could be yourself, or both parties to record the call. When they play that sound bite that says it's recording the call, that basically is alerting both parties that the call will be recorded, which means that you can record it too. You may think that you have to tell them that it's being recorded. That's not true. Because they know that that sound bite is being played, they, they know that it's recorded already, and you know it's recorded already, that means both parties have consent to record. So why might you want to do this? Well, there's at least one example in the recent news of a guy who called Comcast, and they told him that his next service appointment would be no charge because the damage was outside of his house. It was a problem with Comcast's line, not his problem. However, after the serviceman got there and did the repairs, he got a bill for $300. And they did that because they said it was something he did. So what he did is he called back and said, they told me it was gonna be free. And they said, no, we, nope, we can't remove the charge. You have to pay the $300. Except he played back his recording to the customer service person of the Comcast representative saying, yes, it will be free. And then they couldn't argue after that and they took the charges off. Because he recorded his call, he saved something like $300. I forget the exact amount, but he saved a lot of money. Now, it's actually really not that difficult to record your calls. You can get an app for your smartphone. I know at least on Android you can, and I'm pretty sure there's a similar thing for iPhone. Or you can just call with Skype, and there's some software that you can use to record that Skype call. That way, if you're dealing with companies with notoriously bad customer service, then you can just use that recording to make sure they stick to their word. What I'll do is I'll put some links in the description with some software, either apps or Skype recording software that you can use to record your calls. I'm actually gonna start doing this anytime I call Comcast because I've just seen so many stories recently of notoriously bad Comcast calls and I don't wanna have to deal with that ever. But I wanna hear from you guys. Do you record your phone calls either just to your ISP or all companies? Leave a comment and let the other users know, especially if you have something that you recommend using. Also, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Hope this video was helpful. I will see you next time.